Hey Stampers, I'm Meg from Love and Stamps and I have some projects to share with you. This month's Stamps in the Mail projects are all about cards that move or have unique folds, just fun things that you can use for your projects this month and then repeat designs for other stamp sets that you've been wanting to use. So we are going to feature Cool Treats this month, which is the ice cream cone one. And everyone who uses it says, oh my gosh, this stamp set's so great. So let's see some projects. Here is the project that I have for you today. It is a gatefold card and I have some other samples so make sure you watch at the end for my other samples with this design. But the gatefold opens like this, or Dutch door, sorry. The Dutch door opens like this, kind of the top and bottom half. And this is a great card design when you have a neat focal point that you want to feature and then, uh, you know, some cool designer series paper to go along with it. And the Tasty Treats designer series paper is on the retiring list and it's discounted. So that would be a great thing to add to your Stamps the Mail Club order this month. So let's get stamping and I'll show you how to make this card as well as some alternate project design so so we're gonna grab the packet here for our Dutch door card and you can set your directions aside unless you like reading directions and then case go for it uh -huh. I am pulling pieces out and let me tell you how this cardstock is scored first of all so this cardstock is uh, four and a half inches tall by eight and a half inches wide so it's just a little bit bigger than um, like a square card would end up and I've scored it across here at four and a quarter inches so score it in half and then turn it and score it again in half here but only to the center line so you're going to score it at two and a quarter inches and down to here so then go ahead and fold that um, and you're going to cut here if you have the um, Stampin' Up! paper trimmer you can just go ahead and trim um, this center line here to the score instead of uh, scoring it and then cutting with scissors but whatever works best for you basically you're cutting off the front half uh, top half of the front of the card okay all right so we have our watermelon wonder card stock here which is retiring by the way so if you love this color um, make sure you order it quickly because you never know when it's going to sell out and we're going to take this gorgeous designer series paper you need two pieces of it that are four inches by two inches and just like um, some of the other video tutorials I've shared about using your designer series paper efficiently um, this is a great efficient way to cut your designer series paper so you can get a ton of cool cards out of it so I'm going to grab my snail adhesive and stick this front piece down here on the front half. And then my piece here. Um, and in the package there are two um, of the clear embossed papers. They're really kind of fun to use. So, All right, we have that. And now we have our uh, die cut pieces. So this is done with a circle scallop um, layering circles die set, circle layering die set and then our piece of Whisper White and I'm going to take this and stamp on my paper piercing um, mat just to get a nice um, to assure good contact between my paper and my stamp and I have my Stampin' Spot that comes with my kit here so I'm going to stamp your in um, our, oh my gosh, Tip Top Taupe couldn't remember what color it was and Tip Top Taupe is a requiring a retiring color too and then I have cool in peekaboo peach which is one of the new um, this year in colors and then we have this cute little die cut so with your stamps the mail club kit you can choose to get the um, dies with it um, as a bundle and then you get the dies at a discount uh, compared to ordering them alone so um, think about adding those to your kit and I've die cut this for you so I'm going to grab um, one of the bigger stamps here and I'm going to ink up my tip top tote but this color is kind of on the darker side so what I'm going to do is grab a piece of scratch paper and I'm going to stamp off here and then without re-inking my stamp I'm going to go ahead and stamp on and since they're photopolymer you can easily see where you are okay so there's our little here we go ice cream cone and then I'm going to um, without inking it again I'm just going to turn it sideways and stamp the stem so now I have a stick that's just a little bit lighter color than my chocolate and you know what it looks kind of light I think I'm going to take it back I'm going to go ahead and try it full strength here let's see our chocolate should be nice and dark there we go okay I like that better oh yeah you guys like that better too I think so all right so then we have our chocolate bar 
and a piece of the uh, Baker's Twine that's included in your kit. And that's one of the great things about Stamps the Mail Club kits um, that you can order from me. They have all the pieces are assembled, uh, you know, collated, and I've got all the little bits and bits and bobs and things that you'll want to um, have for your projects and they're already put together for you so easy to find and easy to make all right so there is our cute little bow we'll make the ends small and cute there and then i'm going to trim the ends here and this is going to go on with a stampin dimensional okay so we'll flip that over and tuck it there on the corner and then our um, blushing bride uh, heart here. I'm going to put some um, snail here on the back and this paper is retiring too and it's on sale so if you don't have it I would highly recommend ordering a package. Um, I think it's even 40% off. Be aware with the stuff that's retiring like the designer series paper from this um, kit and the blushing bride uh, paper here and the reinkers and pads and so forth for the ink colors. They're only while supplies last so you really don't want to wait. Um, there's already some things that have sold out but um, be sure to check the list. It's in my online store. Um, you can go to lovenstamps.com shop slash shop and uh, get a link there to things that are retiring and so forth. So here's our medallion and I'm going to take this and attach it here. Now Sometimes I like to save the edges from my Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm going to put this here instead of on the back of my piece because now I know that it's not accidentally going to seal my card shut when I go ahead and place it on here. So now I'm going to center that. Now we have one more thing to do because in the center we need to add our panel here. So this is another 2x4 piece of cardstock, just whisper white this time so you have a place to put your message. And then I have this long strip and usually I have my stamps mounted to just show you things more expediently but in the stamp set um, I wanted to give you a tip for mounting this greeting um, sometimes um, if you've watched my other videos you know that I'll curve stamps or change the shape of them to match something this time though I actually want to make sure that my stamp is straight and it's really easy when you when you have a long straight image and you're trying to put it on the block to accidentally curve it and so then you can see that clearly that's not going to work. So I find that the safest way to mount straight stamps is to let them sit on their own so they're kind of in their natural flat state and then just bring your block down onto it. That way you know that the, the line is still going to be straight. And I'm going to ink this up with my spot. When you have a big stamp like this you want to use your spot upside down and then I'm going to stamp here on my greeting strip. So I hope your day is as sweet as you are. So I'm going to trim the ends of that and then bring my card back here, flip it over and I'm just going to go right in the center here so that it gets hidden by our medallion. So there is our Stamps the Mail Club card. I have so many fun ways to use this Dutch door fold and I have kits available. If you'd like to go ahead and order one, you can get that through my website at lovenstamps.com. And I have some other ideas to share with you for this design. So here is the first one. This is the adorable Party Animal Designer series paper and the retiring designer tin of cards stamp set. And I love, love, love these together. So fun way to do that Dutch door card. Here is another one with the Retiring Love Sparkle stamp set, which um, I was sure I didn't need. And then, of course, I fell in love with when a friend gave me a card with it. And uh, here I use an oval instead of the circle on our card. Um, then the last one here was by my amazing friend Mary Ellen Stites, and she made this for me as a birthday card and used um, the watercolor on the front there and then the message about dancing inside. So another great stamp set. So let me know if you have questions about Stamps the Meal Club. I would love to get a kit out to you for the fabulous cards we're making this month, and I look forward to sharing more videos with you soon. Happy stamping!